Hey guys, it's May May, and today's trusty sidekick is Shannon. Is Shannon. Old Vinny boy is getting his building built. Not yet. They're not there yet. He's so heartbroken. I messaged him like, are they there? He's like, no. I said, call him. He said, they said they're coming, but they're not here yet. So you get me and Shannon today, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So today's project, I thought since we caught up on our calendar, I thought this would be fun to do. These are those um, photo play kits, which I think are brilliant. You see, I'm on, I'll take this one out in a minute. But I think these are brilliant. Today, we're going to play with the everyday card kit. The biggest thing I want to do is show you how these work and also put some cards together, okay? But this is what we're doing today, the everyday card kit, which is basically a card for a lot of occasions. But I want to show you some other ones out there. Now, these sold out on our store. Every time we put them in the store, they sell out. But Vince has them on order. They're coming back in. So if you see one you love, just give us a second and it'll be back. This one is called Christmas Memories. I love this one. This one is probably my favorite so far. It's called Kringle & Co. I love the red, black, and white. Obviously, it's me. Um, I will be putting these together also. I wanted to ask y'all how y'all wanted me to do that. Now, this one, we have some in store and it is perfect for first responders. If you have family members that are nurses, doctors, um, even like nursing home nurses, you know what I'm saying? The ones at nursing homes or assisted living or anybody that you want to say thank you to or anything. This is a great one for that. We don't have a whole lot of these left, so go grab it. This is really, really cute. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you what these do. I've made these on my channel before and you guys love when I do these. So what I was thinking is it might be fun since I have these sets to maybe for the next few Fridays, can we do these on like Friday morning? I mean, we're we're really getting caught up. Yeah. Shannon and I are feeling real good right now. We're really in a pretty good space. We've got a couple more things to do, but not bad for Made It Con to get some stuff finished up. And um, we're really in a good space. So we're thinking maybe, I don't know, Friday morning or Wednesday mornings. Which which morning? And I hate to do it in the morning because I know a lot of, a lot of you guys like the afternoons, but afternoon, no one's no one's around to help me with comments because I can't do it at my home. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, this is interesting. That's a long, I wonder. Maybe it's a six by six. So, here's what you get. I'm gonna um, show you first the instructions. Thank you for smashing the like button. I gotta tell you something. That's a big deal on YouTube nowadays. So, if you, if you like our video ever, please click the like button. It really does help. All right, so this is the front cover. And what we find here is we have four sheets of 12 by 12 double-sided designer cardstock. Um, Two each of two papers, die cut cardstock ephemera, eight cardstock card bases in three sizes, and step by step written instructions. Now, let me show you this. This is how the written instructions come. This is so neat. So, like, this is um, card number one, thinking of you. And you literally do, I do this. I do one, two, I do all the steps to make the card, okay? So, here's what you need. We were like pulling stuff, guessing what I might need. Here's a list of what you'll need. A paper trimmer, check. Scissors, check. Adhesive, check. Dimensional adhesive, check. Two wooden toothpicks, not check. Um, what does this one say? Corner rounder, not check. A black journaling pen, that's over there. There's my black pen, good job. Navy twine and white twine. I have white, I don't think I have navy. Oh, I do have navy. Navy and white. Um, white is going to be white and silver. See it over there? Yep. Um, oh, I put it in Mama's box. Here, you can get it out. I'll use some of this right there. <laughs> I put it in her box. OBKB. So that is the extras that you will need listed in there. And I'm going to put my instructions beside me. So we're going to start with the first card. And what I like to do is flip this over and find the card I'm working on. There's the one I'm doing, the thinking of you. So I like to kind of get my eyes on it. And it says first... From sheet number one, so let me pull these things aside. There's my die cut pieces. These are my bases. I'll put those over there. And let's find sheet number one. Oh, Brenda's hey, Brenda. From sheet number one, trim the one and a half by five and a half inch striped piece. One and a half by five and a half. Is that this one or this one? Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to move this out of the way. Oh, that's sheet two. Let me find sheet one. Here's what's really cool. They're, they're numbered. Oh, there's only four sheets this time. That's good. It's bad when there's a whole bunch of sheets. They're numbered at the top. Everyday card kit, sheet one. You probably can't see that. I'll bring it up so you can see that. 
And so we're going to be cutting away the striped piece. There's only one striped piece right there. So I need that piece. I'm trying to see what else I'm gonna be using from it so I can, all right. Turn my trimmer around the right way. I also love the texture of this cardstock. Love it. So I'm gonna place this in my trimmer and cut away this top strip so I can get to what I need. I probably need that, I would think, so I'm gonna put that aside. But I wanna be able to get to this piece right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut down on this because I wanna cut to where it ends, which is right about there. All right, and then I'm gonna do it here as well. You don't have to be this specific. You can also just take your scissors and do this. I tell y'all that every time I make one of these dudes, you can just use your scissors for this. But if you got your trimmer and you're confident with it, which I'm not confident at that point, let's go to scissors now. I have a feeling I'm cutting out this other piece too. I should go back and look at my um, front picture again. A tip for you. I'm using my phone, but a tip for you, if you want to snap a picture with your phone and sit it here, you could see it while you're reading your instructions. Um, adhere it to the left side of a white four and a quarter by five and a half card base. So let me pull one of those out. Four and a quarter by five and a half. Oh, there's one. Yeah, I want to cheat. I want to look at it too. Because I want to see. Oh yeah, this is the piece I want. Yep. To the far side, let me show y'all the picture. It doesn't go to the far side. It's about a half an inch, quarter an inch away from the edge or from the score line. So it's gonna go something like that. That's kind of fun. If you ever need to just sit down and craft, this is the way to do it. Ooh, don't want this way or that way. I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm gonna do it the way they say it. I always try to do it the way they say it so y'all can see it done exactly like they said. That doesn't mean you have to do it that way. But I always try to do it that way. You wanna read step two to me? Using a black journaling pen, draw a vertical stitching line down the left inside edge of the striped piece. Okay, here's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm using my jelly roll. I know for a fact it will smear on this cardstock because this has got a little um, sheen to it. So I'm gonna do the stitch line, but beside it because I want it to go onto the cardstock. I know it will dry on. Does that make sense? So I'm still gonna do the stitches, but just not on it. So that is an edit I'm gonna make for myself because this pen will not dry on that slick. It probably would over time, but I will have this ink everywhere because I know how I am. I like when Shannon reads me the instructions. So, so add to your needed list a friend to read you the instructions. <laughs> Next. Number three, from sheet one, trim the red floral square. Adhere it to the card front. I'll, I'll wait for you to get trimmed. <laughs> Steps, please. Okay. So I can trim this away like so. And then I can get in here and trim that little square. Whoever designs these, like for real. It's very yeah. specific. Very specific. Miss Joan wants to know if I'm up for bedtime stories too. <laughs> Y'all, does anybody have the Calm app? Does anybody have that yet? I saw this week, okay. So, I don't know if y'all know who, the, oh, I'm sorry, I'm cutting that out with my scissors. I don't know if y'all know who this is, but Harry Styles from One Direction. If you've ever heard him talk, he has this very unique voice, very unique London or I guess English voice, right? A very soothing voice actually. Well, I got this thing on my phone. You know, you get that little ads in your Instagram and stuff. And he's now reading bedtime stories on the Calm app. And I'm like, <laughs> that's a brilliant use of his voice because it is very, very soothing. Does it go in the center? I think it does. All right. You will adhere it to the card front 5 eighths inch from the top left edge and 1.25 inches down from the top edge. They kidding, right? Nope. That's exactly what it says. I'm just gluing it right there. <laughs> measure. <laughs> I'm looking at the picture and it looks good. I'm not measuring. Y'all know me better than that. Y'all know me better than that. I put my pen back in so this wouldn't be an issue. Come on, glue. You're going to blob right here. I just know it. There you go. Yeah, I'm not measuring. Christine Emmerich said I'll have a card kit with a side of Shannon. <laughs> with a side of Shannon. That's perfect. All right. Oh, that's sweet. From sheet one. 
trim the teal grid banner. Teal grid banner. Did I already cut it out over here? Yes. Is that this one? Um, sure. It is that <laughs> one. Yep. The teal grid banner. G is with us. Hey, G. From here to here. G, I have to tell you something. What is that sauce? We didn't have any steak sauce the other day. But, um, was it the HP? Brown, the brown, yeah. The I didn't do sauce. the I didn't do the brown sauce. I did. I think it was the HP. So we didn't have any steak sauce the other day for my lunch. So I went to the fridge and we had the HP sauce from when we did the the UK food testing, and it's delicious. <laughs> I enjoyed every second of it. I was like, man, I'm glad we got this. It was a good option. All right, and so I need to trim the little banner at the bottom. And then you need to hear the rest of your Oh, tell me my instructions. <laughs> Using foam adhesive, adhere it to the card front 1.25 inches in from the left edge and 0.5 inches down from the top edge. So half an inch down from the top. Yep. I can do that. Half an inch from the top. I can see. Inch and a quarter from the left. I can see what they're doing in the picture. So this here. Peel that off. I should have got my pokey tool. I don't need it. I'm good. Don't get up. Not okay. Half an inch down. The, I love how they layer all of this. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. Five. From the die cuts. <gasps> Yay. The yellow, blue, white ticket cactus. Oh, white ticket cactus thinking banner and of you banner. The thinking, thinking banner? Of you banner. I need a thinking banner. Thinking and the of you. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's thinking. And then the oh, it's two banners. Y'all, I'm going to use my sleigh. <laughs> I'll put my pockets in here. You remember last time I had them all over my desk and yes, I couldn't find I anything? I lost something. So, I'm going to put this in here into the sleigh. The sleigh's just waiting patiently to become whatever it's going to become. All right. You are looking for the yellow, blue, and white ticket. The yellow brick road. All right, the, the yellow, blue. You're going to have to let me find it, girl. You're going you to have to let me white find it. Yellow, blue, and white ticket. Cactus. The cacti. That's multiples, right? Um, you don't know. I don't know. We. What are we? We don't do math or grammar. You're looking for, well, it is multiples because it's multiples in one. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for that, dude. <laughs> yeah. I was looking for something different. Okay. Let me lay things facing up. Here he is. Nope, that's a cupcake. That's a cupcake. I also need to find those little banners. Thinking banner and the of you banner. All right, here's of you. Of you. Okay, the sleigh could have been a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I think it was. On the table might have been the better option. Just pour it out on the table. Okay. Let's find the little cacti, cactus, cactus thing. And right, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I don't have a cactus. <laughs> oh, I don't have a cactus. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. She just doesn't know what a cactus looks well, like. Well, I wasn't looking for a small one. I felt it was bigger than that. Look how tiny it is. Come, look. Didn't you think it was bigger oh, than that? I did. All right. Shanielle wants to know if I'm for sale on the website. Oh my goodness. No, we're not selling her. <laughs> you can rent her, I guess. I guess I have you on. No, I have her on retainer. Sorry, you can't have yeah. her. Uh. <laughs> I cleaned what I did last time and lost things, okay? Oh, oh. Nope. That's what I keep thinking. I just need to look at everything. The thing is. <laughs> is that it? No. no. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. Oh, that's a good idea, Shannon. She's like, organize them. This one you need a Shannon. Everybody needs a Shannon. Thank you. I feel like we're looking at it and I'm not seeing it. What color is it? Green. Green. What's this? This is a candle. Did I leave it in the sleigh? Did it get stuck to the side? Jeez. Did it get no. stuck in the bag? No sleigh. Y'all. Is it stuck to something? Oh, that's one of them angle pieces. 
And I swear I feel like I'm looking at it. Huh. Is it stuck to the ticket? All right, we're gonna make it and not put it on and then probably when I'm done it will appear. You know what I'm saying? You're just gonna lay things out up there for me? Yeah, there's your of you. Let's turn these over. You're amazing. Yeah, let me have the, uh, yeah, of you. Watch it appear. That's what we want it to do, right? Yeah. All right, I need this and this. I don't need this or this. Or this or this. Okay, so you think that's the way to do it? Instead of piling them in a bucket, just lay them out on your table so you can see everything? Yeah, possibly. Wow, how much smarter is that? Instead well, of piling I mean, them in a bucket? It could be. Shannon's much more organized than me. Uh -huh. It's like I have my mommy in here straightening everything up. Let's put all these little guys together, too. Little fellas. The little fellers. There's sentiments. There's that. Here, I'm going to slide it and let you play with it while I do this. Okay, what does it say next for this guy? All right. Did I drop him on the shirt or on the floor? Trim a 12-inch piece of navy twine. Gotcha. 12 inches. Feels like it. Shannon, you know I'm not measuring. I know. <laughs> Let's All see right. if I was close. Let's test me. <laughs> 14 inches. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with this dude? Let's see. All right. You are going to oh, he wraps. wrap the twine three times around the top yellow edge of the ticket and tie it off in a bow on the front. Oh, I got news. I'm not fighting that. I'm going to tie I'm going to wrap it one time. I'm not fighting all that. Y'all know I got to have room for my fingers. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, it's going to get a bow, but we're not going to worry about it being wrapped three times. But that's the beauty of it, right? Make it your worst. I feel more confident with a little bit of ribbon, with a little bit of twine. Kristen said, welcome to Meme's Messy Time. Meme's Messy Time. How to cover your entire work. Surface. How not to make something. Next step, please. Next step is to... Uh, oh, I see why they wrap it three times. They use an actual twine, where I'm using thick Baker's twine. That's the difference. Yeah. Um, well, you're supposed to make a bow and then adhere it to the piece over the teal banner centered atop to bottom and left to right. It doesn't say foam, but I'm going to put foam on it. Did it say foam? No. I'm having foam. Just says it here. I think the foam will help. Adhere the piece over the teal banner. So it doesn't care how I adhere it. Just I do it. adhere it. Done and done. All right. Using foam adhesive, adhere the cactus to the center of the white portion of the ticket. We'll try it out. I'll do just glue here since I did foam there. Look at you. Next. Using foam adhesive layer and adhere the two sentiment banners to the right of the cactus as shown. Or the one sentiment banner. So yeah, I feel like it will appear. Oh, I didn't look in the bag to see if it fell out in the big bag. Let me see where this one lays straight across. Yeah. I, I just feel like it's here. Thinking of you, we'll go right there. We'll put the thinking. I should have put that underneath because of the way I did it, but we're going to leave it. All right, so there's that. I'm going to fold this and crease it or score it. No, crease it was right. <laughs> crease it was the right word. One, and we had a slowdown. Not bad. How long have we been working? 30 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at number two. Card number 020. From sheet number two. This is your so thoughtful. This makes sense, sheet so number making... two making this one. Oh, the big butterfly. Good. Big butterfly. All right. So. Trim the large floral rectangle. Mm-hmm. I see it. I see it. And then you're also going to trim the narrow yellow dot strip and the narrow navy strip. From the same sheet? It might be on the yes. back. Also from sheet one. Oh, that's, no, sorry. That's from sheet one. Okay. This is from sheet two. This is sheet two. two. Sheet two there, Shano. Shenanigans. It's funny. I call Shan Shannon Danielle Shanielle and you shenanigans. Well, it just works to say Shanielle. It does. <laughs> Tell them where Vinny is. Vinny is at the house 
waiting for his barn to arrive. And when I say barn, it's not a barn. Y'all know what it is. It's one of those outdoor buildings. And he is waiting on it to arrive. And he's a little sad because they weren't there. Right before the show, I texted him and he said, I said, are they there? He said, of course not. And he took, he's taken a lot of this week off, by the way. Just going to be honest. He, he said something about it yesterday, which we thought was funny. Yeah. The All right. blue and yellow? Both of them? Yes, the narrow yellow dot strike strip and the narrow navy strip. Can they stay together? Can I just cut them? I think they stay together. I think we're keeping them together. They're going side by side. So yeah, I'm keeping them together. Make life easier. That's right. Yeah, he's, he said, what did he say yesterday? Oh, he came in late yesterday. So he had an allergic reaction. He's... He does this lately. He's having reactions to things. We found what most of them are, but we had another one happen. And so he had to take Benadryl at like midnight and that, and then he couldn't go to sleep till like two when the Benadryl had fully taken effect. So he didn't get any sleep. And so um, he came in late yesterday and he was like, I've already taken half this week off. Locate a white five by seven card base. Locate. Locate. Five by seven, gotcha. All right, you are going to <clears throat> adhere the floral piece to the card front flush with the left edge. Perfect. Look, you could switch it. No, you're not. I'm not. You're going to adhere it. She was like, no, you're not. No, you may not. You're going to glue this directly down. We need to trade places. Did we do this last time and I gave you directions? I bet they would be no. completely different directions. You're doing such a good job. I love this paper. It's pretty. Next. Um, adhere. Let's see. Yeah, adhere the narrow yellow strip directly to the right of the floral piece. You know what and I just did? And then the navy strip directly to the right of the yellow strip. But you don't have to cut them apart, so just glue them together. You know what I just did? Glue them both down. I was that student that got ahead. Yeah, well, you know. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> From the die cuts, locate the butterfly. Boom. The navy yellow Polaroid frame. Boom. And your so thoughtful banner. The furlers went away. Of course. <laughs> Drive it down away. here. Boom, got it. It lays like this. All right, so now what? Using foam adhesive, adhere the Polaroid frame to the center of the flower piece. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta cut it now. We ain't wasting her. Little at the bottom, little at the top. A little bit long, so we'll put a piece here. Well, you're gonna foam on the butterfly too. Well, so. I went pretty skimpy on this one, so we'll we'll put some in the middle. I went a wee bit skimpy. So you see, I'm just throwing this trash on the table. Yep. When we have card these up, so we put it in there. Does it go toward the top? Um, it says to center the. Let's see. Using foam adhesive, adhere the Polaroid frame to the center of the flower piece. But, but, you're just, it's not centered on that picture. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it like that. It's fine. Next. Uh, using foam adhesive, adhere the butterfly to the center of the yellow portion of the Polaroid frame at an angle. At an angle. Very specific today. Very specific. Okay. Pacifically at a, on an angle. Pacifically. Pacifically. Yep. Pacifically. On the on Atlantic angle. angle. On an Atlantic angle, that's right. All right, so. Then next, you're going to adhere the You're So Thoughtful banner across the bottom of the Polaroid frame. Done. Yeah. That's super fast. That is so cute. Mm hmm. Super dee duper dee fast. Yeah, laying off the die cuts is much easier. That's cute. I like that we're getting five by sevens in here too. Because that way you can make a five by seven without wasting. You know how I feel about yeah. wasting paper. Card number three. You are so kind. From sheet one, trim the teal heart V shaped piece. Found it. And the four, and a half, four inch by two and a half inch yellow dot piece. All from sheet one? Yes, all from sheet one. Is it sheet one? I cut it off. 
the that's what I need though, right? by two and a half inch yellow dot piece. This one has a border around it. Does that one? Which one are we doing? It has a navy border around it. The Arsenko? No, it doesn't. Oh, is it that one? Possibly. That one doesn't have a border. Oh, are there multiple sheet ones? That sheet one. Okay. Well, no. Yeah, there are multiple sheet ones, but I think I need this piece. Let me yeah, look at it up close. I think you need that piece. Yeah, they're open dots. That's the piece I need. So that piece should be laying somewhere. Here it is. Oh, right there. Huh? Here she is. Just waiting to be used. Just vaping her thern. All right. All right. Okay, V-shaped. I ain't V-shaped yet. Let me V-shape. Is that a step? V-shape. Well, let's see. I figured that was part of cutting it out, was V-shaping it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Figured you would understand that it meant to do that. <laughs> Does the kit give you envelopes? Oh, no, it doesn't give you envelopes. I didn't think about that. No, it doesn't. It does not. All right, I got this piece. I got this piece. All right, so we are to step two. Adhere the yellow piece to the bottom of a white four and a quarter by five and a half card front, leaving an eighth inch gap on the left, right, and bottom edge. Yes. Ma'am, I know what you're telling me. So center it on the bottom. Center it on the Eight bottom. Inch. I got you. Number three. Using foam adhesive, adhere the teal heart V piece to the card front flush with the top edge. We could do this as AMSR, like we're not allowed to talk. You can only give instructions and I can't talk. That'd be hilarious. And they could hear all the sounds. They'd also be bored to tears. All right, same thing. Eighth inch from the top all the way around, I would think. Uh, maybe. Oh no, it's full no. size. I was gonna say, I think it said. It's full size. Adhesive, it is. The teal V, the teal heart V piece to the card front flush with the top edge. Yeah, it's full size. That's cute. Yeah, I like that. I like how I would not have done that. Y'all need to see that. That's a good idea. From the die cuts, locate the scalloped V border, small floral spray, and you are so kind banner. Yeah, see how they did the top flush and the bottom sunk in? I like that. Okay, next. I better need that. I mean, I better need that. I will probably need that. I'm going to put that with my ones, go. with my sheet ones. Put it, put it over there. All right. Um, using foam adhesive, adhere the scallop piece below the teal heart piece. Oh, no. We're not doing all that. We're not foam adhesing this tiny no. thing. We're going to glue it and put it. It's already popped up anyway. It's going to glue it onto the popped up piece. Oh, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> you Listen, that's exactly what I sounded like in Brenda's, the first class of Brenda's I took. Is she still on? I don't know if she is. But the first class I, I took of hers, and she was like, okay, tear this. Then I said, oh, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Using foam adhesive, adhere the floral spray to the point of the V. I do have to do that because it's already popped up. So I do have to do that. To the point of the V. I'm gonna I'm gonna v. lay it a little low. I'm good with it. Using foam adhesive, adhere the "You Are So Kind" banner to the bottom left corner of the yellow piece, as shown. We ain't doing that. As shown. I'm not fighting that. No, I just said the as shown. I'm not fighting foam on this tiny piece. There's just no sense, and I got plenty of pop up on here. Plenty of pop-up. Is that it? Finished. Voila. Dang. That was easy. Okay, let me um, crease her down. That was super easy. Nice. Easy peasy on that one. I like it. Next. Um, card four. Make a wish. From sheet two. Ooh, I could use a big a one. Solid, solid teal piece 
and the teal navy striped piece. From sheet two, I need the solid teal piece. This piece. And the teal navy striped piece. do that so I can be straighter. Let's do it from here so I can line it up. Ooh, that's a cute card. The one we're doing now? Yeah. There's that one. And I think I need this one. That one. Oh, I don't know where that ends. I think it's right there. May the stripes be with you. Oh, you're funny. Uh -huh. How do we always do some kind of Star Wars reference in these things? I don't know. I don't even watch Star me Wars. Me either. Me either. They just have all the good puns. I guess so. They're punny. All right, there's those all two. All right. I need a stripe of something. Locate the white. Locate a white five and a half inch square card base. Oh, so they're five and a half inch square. Got it. All right. Do and I need here, this? I feel like I need this. Well, it hasn't told me to yet. From sheet one, trim the green stripe. I'm going to do it. I need yeah, it. that's like step four. We're only on um, two. Why would this be a later step? I don't know. I don't have the directions. <laughs> what are you using to make these? Diana, I will put the link in for you. Again. Everything. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. All right, I got my card base. I'm going to go ahead and crease it because it gets harder as I, as they get foamy. All right, back to number four. There we are. All right, two. Adhere the solid teal piece to the top of the card base, centering it left to right and an eighth inch down from the top edge. I got a little bit of... She got a little wonky. I got a little bit of red showing on here. I got to trim some of that off. Everyday card kit. This is not a must. Don't be this picky. Don't be as picky as me. All right, let's put that one down like that. I don't want to glue it yet. I want to see if I have a gap do not have a gap, so I need to be pretty specific. Okay. I'm going to do the top, and then I assume the bottom. Yes. Okay. You have the instructions. There's no guessing. I didn't read ahead. One, three. And here, the teal navy stripe piece directly below the solid teal piece. I'm ahead of you. From sheet one, trim the green striped strip. Adhere it across the center of the card front, covering the seam where the two pieces meet. Again, I had a no. Five from the die cuts. Locate the Make a Wish speech bubble and three candles. Cute three candles. Make a wish. Oh, it's hiding. Thank you. Make a wish. All right, you are going to. Using foam adhesive, adhere the speech bubble to the right side of the card base, flush with the right edge, and 0.75 inches down from the top edge. All right, I have a question. If people are making this in places that aren't southern states, do they still put it to the right, or do they put it to the right? To the right. The right? The right. Okay, still to the right side. To the All right. right, I want to make sure. If you're like, if you're in Washington, D.C., you should it, know what right is. It's still the right Mayday. side. Okay. You should still know what right is if you watch my name. As long as they know it's the right the side, right not side. the right side. Not the right side. The right. <laughs> no. The right. You did it again. The right. <laughs> That's it. The right Put side. On the right side. And you want to use you the. Like my, you sound like my sister that um, has to have pen, oh, not a pen. It's a, a pen. pen. It's a pen. No, it's a pen. <laughs> So like I have to say it like that to teach the kindergartners. It's, it's a, a pen. pen. It's a pen. So they know the right noise to make. So it's the light teal on the right side. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Let me look at that picture. Okay. Copy the front. Just copy the card Just kit. Copy the front. I love that the sentiments are already done. That's really neat. Yeah. They're fixing to say foam on these Use on these these candles. <laughs> Cluster and adhere. The three candles to the right of the word, which. What if I did it, but you went over there and got me my little foam. I so I don't have to cut this into tiny little pieces. They should be in that bag or right there on the bottom shelf. When I say should, y'all know that means there's a good chance there's none they there. I here. I used them at, um, I used them in a class. And I don't know if I used them up. There's a chance. 
Okay, we'll just, we'll make it work. Did I need to foam all of them? Foam them all and group them. Here's what I'll do. I'll just do skinny foam strips. Foam and group. All right, make sure everybody knows what right is. Right. Right left. We don't need anybody doing anything right, right when it should be right. Do they know what it is? Nobody's even asking about our right. What? Do y'all know your right from your left? <laughs> Debbie wants a Shannon in her craft room. Oh. Y'all are sweet. She's very handy, y'all. She's very handy. She's and let me tell you what she is. I'm gonna brag on Shannon for a minute. Shannon's that type of girl who gets it before you ask. Like, she knows before you need it. And, like, that's, like, part of her love language is, like, she's going to have it done before you even ask. Do you know this about yourself? Uh, like, I'll be sitting at my desk. This will this'll happen. And I try for I actually try for it not to happen because Shannon has to do it so much. But I'll be sitting at my desk working on something. And I have this habit of when I need something, I don't just quietly look for it. I tend to go... Or I, I do this thing with my hand, and she'll go, what do you need? <laughs> I'll go, I got it. I'll find it. Don't worry. Kim Stay there. She understands me perfectly. Good. Good deal. Well, Kim should, right? <laughs> right, All right, left, huh? <laughs> That's good. Uh, just put them to the right of your wish. Oh, I have to put these to the right. Word wish. To the right. I'm using the foam adhesive, cluster it in here. The three candles to the right of the word wish. To the right. Right. I'm probably just gonna put them on the right. Right. Put them on the right. <laughs> this one goes is a little longer. That's cute, cute, cute. Y'all come on. These are so cute Very and so cute. easy. Number five. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. Happy Wait, birthday. which one is it? I'm gonna see which one I'm looking Number at. Five, the is it the cupcake? Uh locate the pre printed red stripe cupcake card base. Oh, oh, I get to use a car base. base. Yeah, there were some pre-printed ones. Ooh. Yay, this is so cool. Look, look how easy that is. is. All right. Let me score it. I mean, fold it. Just to save me a step later. All right, step one. I'm ready for you. Actually, you're on two. From sheet Thanks. one, trim the yellow dot and navy piece. Oh, that's the one that we were just questioning. Yellow dot and navy. Dot and navy. Yeah, this is cute. And I like that the card base was already done. I would not hate a card kit that came like that. You know what I'm saying? Pre-printed yeah. card bases? I would not dislike that. And all I had to do was assemble? That would be cool. All right, I feel like from the picture that lives there. Look at that. I like that. All right, adhere it to the center of the card base. So straight down. I like it. I like it a lot. Gotcha. All right. And here's all your little pieces. Okay. Uh -oh. You're all right. Uh -oh. I'll lay them out. There's a lot of little pieces. All right. So from the die cuts, you should have the celebrate tab, Check. happy banner, birthday banner, Check. navy circle, and a cupcake. Check. Adhere the celebrate tab to the top left edge of the yellow navy piece. Check. Adhere the navy circle to the bottom right corner of the yellow and navy piece as shown. Glue the happy and birthday banners to two toothpicks. Oh, that's why we needed the toothpicks. Or use twine. I could do twine. Or I could just draw it. Yeah, you could. How? These guys. Let's pretend like I've done it. Now what? All right. So, um, referring to the cover image for placement, glue two toothpick banners to the back of the cupcake at an angle as shown. Using foam adhesive, adhere the cupcake in toothpick assembly to the lower left corner of the navy circle. Don't mind me. Do what you gotta do. I'm doing my way. I'm doing it my way. It's all right. It's still going to work. It's still going to be beautiful. And it's still going to look very much like that card. Very much. Very much like it. 
I have to tell you something funny. I keep thinking I smell a pineapple coconut candle, but I'm like, I took that pineapple coconut candle home. You know, the one we bought from... Uh -huh. Okay, so I took that one home. But you know what it is? It's the pineapple coconut body spray that I bought that every time I move my arm is wafting in front of my face. And I'm like, no wonder. I'm, I really... Okay, there we go. Did it without a pokey tool. Did it without a pokey tool. So the cupcake goes kind of low. And this is a good test. I want to see if this will dry anyway. So we'll use this. So there's a little line at the top. And then a line here. Janice wants to know if I color and fussy cut. I can come to North Carolina. She's a great fussy cutter. Great fussy cutter. I'll be honest. Everybody on our staff is good at fussy cutting. Because you know why? I don't let them stress over it. Do I? No. I do not let you stress over it. did it on three Mother's Day cards. That's it. That was the first time I ever fussy cut. cut. Were those flowers on that card. And that was a child. But they're beautiful. But was... All right, feel better soon. Number six. Okay, so. Okay, the five by five square card base with the fold at the top. Oh, top fold. Round the bottom two corners. Oh, this is why you needed a corner rounder. So that's interesting. I wonder if it's half inch or quarter inch. I gotta look. Go look at this piece and see. Let me see. Half inch. Half. Hey, before we get off of this live, somebody remind me to clean this out on camera for y'all to see how bad it is. I'm having to hold it gently so everything doesn't fly out, but y'all want to see it. Yes, yes we do. Let me open it up. Yeah, y'all want to see that come out. Y'all want to see how much is in there, I promise. I usually do like... I usually do videos on like Instagram to show it, but I'll do it today. I want y'all remind me. I'm also rounding this because I'm assuming I need to. <laughs> that was a step I jumped ahead. All right, well, let's get back to the rules. <laughs> um, from sheet one, <laughs> trim the navy white square round the bottom two corners. Check. Adhere piece to the front of the card. Check. From sheet one, trim the green floral piece round the bottom two corners. Green floral from sheet Green one. floral from sheet one. This one? I think so. Oh, no. I think so. Where are we at? What are we doing? <laughs> yep, right there. Ooh, almost ripped a piece. No, no, no. Let me trim this off as well. All right. Trim the green floral piece around the two bottom corners, adhere it to the front of the card, shifting it to the right as shown. From sheet one, you'll also trim the navy rectangle if you haven't done that already. It'd be funny if we were timed. Yeah. That would be fun to do this time, wouldn't it? Yeah. You're giving them ideas. Well, you know, because, like, we watch that cooking show. Like, Shannon and I have this cooking show we like to watch during lunch. And, um, you know, they time. Actually, they, they do it, and then somebody tries to beat the time. But we could just do it and see how long it takes us, right? Yeah. That would be fun. Um... Deborah said our shippers rock. She got her mente order yesterday. Yay. Gosh, y'all have those poor boys. Oh, They're going to be mad at us for showing this today. They're going to be mad about this. <laughs> God love them. They're like, we're almost caught up. We're like, don't, don't, oh, re don't rest on that. We got more coming. You. We're so proud. Oh, here's a question. Yeah. Got an answer. I'm good. All right. So let's see. Where are we at? You got that. Do I glue this oh, straight down? I think on. you told me to glue this down. Okay, from sheet one, you trimmed it, adhere it to the front of the card, shifting it to the right as shown. I thought I heard you say shift it. Shift it to the right as shown. From sheet one, you'll trim the navy rectangle. You did that using the foam. Somebody has lost her long shears and she's sad about it. My long shears are somewhere too. Well, I think we Taylor used them for packing them. and they're all up there somewhere. Center it here. Connie wants to know if we can do one of these together. Like, like split bake string. at the kit. Oh then... yeah. So do y'all like I mean, do we want to um schedule one of these? A Christmas one? We could schedule next? like I could say I could put I thought I had something taped on my face. I could like I would love to do this one next. And I know we sold a lot of these gone so does anybody have this one the kringle set and we could do it next and i could say when we're doing it oh what's next sorry oh you're fine um i don't know um uh, da, 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 da. you turn that one you centered it in the floral piece from the die cuts locate the large floral spray 
the red heart scalloped border, red heart, and feel better soon banner. Gotcha. All right. Um, adhere the red heart scallop border to the right edge of the printed floral piece, centering it to the top, centering it top to bottom. Then you will adhere the red heart to the left end of the Feel Better Soon banner. Using foam adhesive, adhere the assembled piece to the bottom left corner of the card as shown. Foam. Phone me up, Scotty. How long before? Oh, I won't let you. Before the Christmas ones come in. It just depends. We bought out everything we could get on them because they're not. New. Well, I think actually this one is new, isn't it? This vintage one. Yeah. This one is this year's. No, it's not. It's last year, too. That's 2019, and this one is 2019. So we bought out what they had, but then they buy more. When you buy out what they have, they go, oh, this is popular. Let's buy more. And so we're just waiting on them to come in. Does this go right over that? That's cute. I like that. I like it a lot. Next. All right, next you are using foam adhesive to hear the floral spray to the center of the navy piece. I'm not foaming this one, but I'll tell you why. They're happy with foaming. It makes my card a little thick. So I'm just going to glue this straight down. Because I got foam here and foam there. That's enough foam. I don't do yeah, more than two happy. layers. I don't like to do more than two layers. Y'all, these are so stinking cute. They are. Where am I at? They are. You are now on Hello Friend, number seven. Hello From Friend. From sheet two, trim the teal grid multi-dot piece. I just got to trim a little bit of stuff off the edge. Got it. That's this piece, right? Then I need this banner. Oh, the floral cutout mente coming back. It's all coming back. Yep. He is bringing it. He is already ordered, He's and ordered it's all coming as back. It goes away. He has heard you. Mente has been wildly popular. And you're gonna adhere that to the front of a white five by seven card base. Okay. You're from uh, sheet one. You're trimming the angled yellow dot strip. Mm, that one. Let me do this one. So on. yeah. yeah, the mint paper was wild. Like, I can't even tell you. Wildly popular. Um, I should have shown y'all a picture. Tell them about what we had to do to get it home in the, in the warehouse. Oh, the mint paper. Yeah, yeah. We had to move all of the uh, wreath um, home supplies. Yeah, wreath supplies. Decor. Basically, all of our ribbon... All of our mesh from the warehouse side to the um, storefront side and create a new home for it relabel all of it to be able to get the paper to a spot where the boys have an easier time pulling it because there was so much of it so so much like, like it six used, racks <laughs> it took six bookshelves which were not little like, this is where we had ribbon. Y'all, we have hundreds and hundreds of rolls of ribbon. We had ribbon and mesh all in this spot, and we had to clear that out so we could put, which the reason we did that is we moved the home decor part over to the other side of the store because the boys don't pull it as often as they do um, card making supplies and stuff. So we, it's easy to move that because they don't have to go over there as often. What size card base was this one? Uh, five by seven. Five by seven. Okay. All right, so we are going back to adhere um, the teal grid multi-dot piece to a 5 by 7 card base. Then from sheet one, you did the angled yellow dot strip. Mm -hmm. You'll adhere it over the seam where the teal grid meets the multi-dot. Then, using your black journaling pen, you're going to draw a stitched line along both inside edges of the yellow strip. Really missing my long scissors. That wasn't so bad, though. This is cute. I'm going to do it because it looks cute on their do card. these kits come with the card bases also? Yep. Yes, they come with the card bases. And in this one, they've even got printed card bases. I hope, I don't know if Photoplay would ever see my videos, but that would be nice if 
I like the printed card bases. Yeah. I like the printed card bases and just assemble the pieces. Then they might could give us some stuff for the inside, like just sentiments for the inside. You guys, and I get it because I'm a card maker. You guys love inside sentiments. Even if it's just the same sentiment, but just one to put in there, you know? From sheet two, trim the green diagonal striped piece using foam adhesive. Adhere it to the card front, five eighths inch from the left edge and flush with the top edge. I want to know out there, because I know you're out there and I'm interested in this. This is not, it's not shade or anything. I, I really want to know. Who loves the opportunity to know exactly where to measure to? Like, is that something I should consider in card kits when I do them? You know what I'm saying? Or can I just say eyeball? Eyeball center, eyeball to the left. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I'm not going to measure this. I'm going to look at their picture and go, that looks about right. Our Amber's on. Hey, Amber. She want to know what we were having for lunch. I told her we already had Migos. I had a taco. I have two tacos, but I had yeah, to save one because it was late. I had half a taco. You had half a taco? Well, half of my half second Half of your taco. lunch. Okay. Half of my second taco. All right. So, this goes here and then Hello Friend, which is uh, here. How about I finish reading that? Let's I'm see. sorry. Don't let oh. me get ahead. Oh. From the die cuts, locate the floral base in the Hello Friend banner. Adhere the Hello Friend banner to the floral base as shown. Using foam adhesive, adhere the assembled piece to the center of the green banner. Does anybody <laughs> mind if I glue it straight eyeball, down? Eyeball. Rarely measure. Eyeball. Eyeball. Okay, so I don't need to add There's that. enough stress in line. Eyeball is good. I'm an eyeballer. Eyeball is fine with me. Good. What if somebody just got on here and this is the chat they see when they first get on? I eyeball, 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 eyeball. I like this one a whole lot. I really that is do. very pretty. I really like this one a whole lot. Isn't that funny that I think my two favorites so far are the 5 by 7s <clears> And I always say that 5 by 7s are my nemesis. I like the corner around. I'm excited corner. about this one. I'm getting ahead because I get to use Someone a printed special. card base. Look at the pre-printed floral red blue card base. From sheet one, trim the yellow dot banner. I love the pre-printed card bases. That is so cool. Yellow dot banner. And you're pretty much getting to the point where everything's trimmed because we've already kind of gone there. Blue teal tag. We're pretty much getting there. Got it. All right. So position the banner with the notched end on the right. Adhere the tag to the yellow dot banner, placing the tag uh, three quarters of an yeah three quarters of an inch in from the left edge of the banner, and leaving five oh, leaving half an inch of the tag hanging over the edge of the bottom of the banner. Yeah, just eyeball it. <laughs> Got it. Trim 22 inches of white twine. 22 inches? No. Oh, I see why. Wrap it horizontally around okay. the yellow banner three times and tape and glue the ends to the back. Did it tell me I needed tape? Because I'm going to take issue with it. Mm, no. It didn't tell me I needed tape, but I'm going to get some. Are you? If I can find anything on my work surface. Are you done? Here she is. Here her is. I found her. Oh, Bug Scott said I bought that twine. <laughs> you better bet. You well, better you, bet. Since you're just taping it, you can like just take one side down and wrap it around three times and cut it and take the other. You want to hear something fun? I love this. In the UK, this is called cello tape. Because it's like cello tape. Uh-huh, cello tape. Oh, I like that. In the US, it's called scotch tape. Because, because scotch made it. Mostly scotch makes it. But there's, uh, not mostly, there's lots of other companies that make it. Does it want three times around? It does say three times around, right? Yep, three times and tape it or glue ends to the back. Trim an 88 inch piece of white twine and tie it to Did the Did you just hole. say an 88 inch piece? No, an 8 inch. 
can't see. So what are we doing to this card? <laughs> Trim an eight inch piece of white twine and tie it to the hole in the tag. Eight inch. That feels like eight inches. It. Don't it? Yeah. Tie it? Tie it to the hole in the tag. Hey, look at their picture because it doesn't look tied. They're tied in their hole. They like have it just poking out of. Can I just, can I just. um? You can do whatever you want. It's your card. What's this called? Slip knot it? Slip knot it. Then you're going to use foam adhesive and adhere the assembled piece to the card front flush with the edge and one inch up from the bottom edge. I like this piece. I think it's cute. fan of this assembly and then here uh well you're gonna flush with the left edge and one inch up from the bottom then using foam adhesive adhere the floral piece to the right of the tag centered over the twine using foam foam i have to anyway because it's got some oh it I measured and I was off by a good bit. I oh, know yeah. you. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we're good. I'm making fun of my 88 inches. <laughs> That's why I was like 88 inches. Can I can I hear these down so they'll stay somewhere instead of I just don't being care. like? Again, your card. Shannon's like, I don't care. Your card. Can I just read the next instruction, please? Is it the last card? Create this is cards. the last card. Create new cards using all. The extra designs. I thought I had on one more. Sheet. The design extras are perfect for scrapbooking, pocket pages, and planners too. I thought I had one more. No. Look, look at the front. It makes you feel like it because it's got that sticker thing at the bottom. It's got the, it's got the the ephemera. All right, let's see what we made in an hour. How can we have look? Okay, hold because on. Because they're extra. We got to show all the extras. Extra, That's cool. Extra. I think it's cool when you get all these extras because we can go back and make more cards. All right, so there's one. One. Put this five by sevens over here. Two. That's a five by five. Look at these, how cute they are. Is this smearing? Hey, it dried. This is so stinking cute. Look at them. The colors are real good. I would never buy these colors and put them together. I'm glad they did that for us. All right, you want me to show y'all everything left? You could do a lot, a lot, lot, lot with this. Matter of fact, hey, why don't you reach right there behind you in that middle drawer and grab me like three card bases, just blank ones. Because I think I can go right here and put together a card or two with these things. Let's just see what we can do. And the cool thing is now that I've made all those, I know all these pieces are usable by me. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna trim that a little bit. All right, so I got me a card base. Got me a card base, got me a whole fiddle when the sun's coming up, caked on the griddle. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now let's see what we can do. Ooh, she getting brave, y'all, she getting brave, okay. Let's put this here. We did not find the thinking banner. No, it never showed up. So we might have to stamp it later. That's really odd, isn't it? Or cut it, well, it's probably too small. Too small. small. I wanna use this. I think this is cute right here. Let's see if I wanna put it to this side, I don't. I don't wanna use that one then. Okay, let's use this one. But Scott said life ain't nothing but funny, funny little. Thank God I'm a country girl. I like, hello, hello, is it me you're looking for? Hello, you're awesome. <laughs> we did not find the missing banner. I don't like, the, I'm trying to lay it out really cool here. Okay, so hold on a minute, hold on. Let me see what's in here that I can use. 
That would be pretty. We should have my regular scissors. Oh, and I have those too. So look, I have these pieces. Oh, I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Dots and stripes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And then what about these? Look at that little floral. That may be too much. But look, can I do this? Oh, that's cute. Look how simple. This will be so cute. I'm going to do this. Yeah, I don't see this other piece. All right, so I'm going to glue this one down. I'm gluing it. <laughs> I'm gluing it three quarters of an inch from the left hand side <laughs> and flush with the top. And then I'm gonna trim this away. How much was left over? That's what we're doing. I'll show you all of it. Let's make a let's see what we can do first, and then I'll tell you. Then I'm gonna take this piece. <laughs> just wait a minute. Put a little glue. I'm gonna take this piece and lay it across. Flush with the left hand side. That's how they'd say it, right? Yes. And one and one eighth inch up from the bottom. <laughs> Trim it flush with the right hand side. There we go. Now, oh no, where'd my little banner go? Shenanigans. Hello? No, the little blue one I had right there. I had a little blue one. What did it have? Wow, how did that even happen? This is the one I wanted. Then with foam adhesive. She's going to prop it up. I got this piece left over. I'm gonna put it down here on this end and cut me another little sliver. No, Connie, I'm not writing down May May's instructions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and all these measurements. Yeah. They're not accurate measurements. They're not accurate. You want one and one eighth inch? That's how I did it. <laughs> you can't call it a measurement if you lay it down and then measure it where you did true. it. At. Then I'm gonna put this. Uh, centering the blue strip in the middle of your polka dot strip and above. That's cute, y'all. It is cute. That's easy, right? Let's in see. In other words, what... eyeball it. Yep. Look at that. You're awesome. I miss you so much. Look at that. Should I add that? Mm. Or what does this one say? That's cute. You are such an awesome friend. I like that right there. That's cute. This makes it look like I'm hiding behind that little strip because it's a caption bubble. Come on. Placing this next to the striped strip with the caption bubble touching the stripe, glue it directly down to your card front. Card number, how many is there in here? Seven. Card number eight. Nope, Let's keep nine. going. Sorry, nine. That's card number nine? That'd be nine. Let's keep going. All right, how do I want to do that one? I think I want to use... I really like this together, I think. Nope. Oh, that's cute together. Let's get that out of there. All right. Gosh, this is as much fun as reading the, indru in the instructions. The instructions. The in rules. Sorry, I'm late to party. What paper? Barbara, it is. Can you get in there? I'll put the link in, the Everyday Card Kit. Let me just try and get that straight. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. Yes, there are lots of great extras. You lots. Have, um, after you finish their instructions, you have two full sheets yeah. left. Yep. They give you two number one sheets and two number two sheets. Amber is due August the 17th, I think. Is she on? She was a few minutes ago. For those of you who don't know, Amber's working from home. How many of y'all have called and heard the chickens? Because that's like a thing. Y'all have to call and hear the chickens. Well, she can. She's working from home. Her father-in-law is on a round of medication that is taking his immune system away, basically. And he can't be around anyone that could uh, compromise his immune system. Therefore, her son cannot stay with him right now because it could damage 
her father-in-law's immune system, and that's normally who keeps is the grandparents keeps John Collin. So, Amber's working from home. I kind of, to, oh, tomorrow. We see her on Fridays. She comes here on Friday to bring paychecks, and everybody loves when she's here. Um, I kind of expect to hear her say, I need to come do some. 19 hours off. I kind of expect to hear her say she needs to do some card mailing. But I was going to tell you, Amber, if you're getting messages about card ministry, we can do that. We we just need to know. Do y'all remember that card they did? I was so impressed with the way they did this piece glued an eighth of an inch from the bottom. Yeah. I'm going to that, that, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. copy that and do my own thing with it. I really liked how that looked. I thought it was cool looking. How did the drive-by shower go it was very successful as far as the drive-by part goes it's it's still you know it's still a learning thing with what we're what we're doing we're about to have another one because um i don't guess they mind if i tell i mean it's not a secret josh and taylor now have a new house or will have a new house Yay! because shannon has a new house <laughs> they also have a new landlord how y'all love that right <laughs> shannon is going to be a landlord um is this your first time being a landlord uh, yeah She's an excellent landlord already so far. She's been so good to them, but they'll be renting Shannon's house. Well, that they're so good and they're so excited. And for those of you who don't know, Josh, we never said, cause we don't say, but it doesn't matter. Josh and Taylor have been living with us, which has been lovely. I've loved having them there every second. Taylor is a dream. Um, she keeps the house cleaner than I do. Plus we have an upstairs and downstairs. They're, they're downstairs, we're upstairs. So they basically had a little apartment but they're so excited to get their first place. And because we knew they would be living with us when they first got married, we did not have like a home shower for them, like in their wedding. So instead we're gonna do a drive-by housewarming for yep. them. Look, that's cute there, right? That's very cute. All right, and then I like the way they did this little deal, not that color though. Marion said Scotty's getting skinny. The diet is working, LOL. <gasps> yeah, for real. This would be cute right there. And then put this right here. Oh, yes. So anyway, real excited. There's a lot of stuff going on. So they'll be moving this weekend to their first home, which they're super, super excited about. Um, and what else? That's it, I guess. That's the update on that. You can use the opposite side of the paper as well. Yes, you Yes, can. you can. It's like double-sided. I guess it's not like double-sided. It, is it double actually sided. is double-sided. <laughs> Yeah, so we're excited for everybody and all the changes and all the things that are happening. Everybody's lots of stuff going on. So Thomas will be moving downstairs. That's always what happens in my house. When the oldest boy moves out, the next goes downstairs. So Thomas is, I don't know if he's excited or not. He's never really been one for wanting to be downstairs. It's not a thing for him. Um, he likes his room. He's all set up. He doesn't mind being upstairs. But I think he's going to move downstairs. And um, we'll find out this weekend. We'll see how quickly he moves downstairs, right? So that could happen. And then um, we're excited. A lot going on. So yes, we're going to have a drive-by housewarming. Um, but I want to let them get in the house and then make sure we know everything. that Because I think if they get in the house, then they can make out like a registry list. Yeah. I think that's a better idea. We were going to do it without that. But I'd hate to just buy them a bunch of stuff and then they really need something specific. Yeah. So... Y'all, oh, that's cute. I like that. Connie said to tell you the boys will be having a pit stop birthday. Oh, that's a cute idea. That's really cute. We could. That is cute. Um, and then uh, Linda Horvath wants to know if you have any tips. She's doing one Saturday. She made the invitation with seven of your stamp sets. Are you having a drive-by one? I do have some tips. One thing is we gave away a little something because I thought we kind of. It's a very impersonal thing because people take the time out of their schedule to come and drive up and give you a gift. And it feels very impersonal because you just kind of take it from their car and go back and give it to whoever it's going to. So we it's just, like yeah, so we had cupcakes and little favors. And so we kind of trade it off. Um, the other thing is this. You need to set boundaries and not be afraid of that, okay? If you want people to maintain a distance, rope it off and don't allow them to come anywhere else except there especially if it's a baby shower we did a little sign that says six feet um six feet away doctor's orders because you know mommy and baby don't need to be exposed and so some and i'm there's no one is going to purposely expose anyone but some people don't feel quite as picky about it as say i do and like six feet to me is six feet where some people six feet is four feet they don't mean anything by it it just happens so you want to set your parameters set your boundaries 
um, if you're going to stream them opening the presents, we did a live stream of them opening the presents. Set yourself an event on Facebook so that people can just go to that event and watch the live stream. And then it's only the people that are invited they get to see it. Those are a couple tips. Did you have any tips? What did we do that was really worked well? Mm. Have a fan outside if it's hot. We had to have yeah. a fan. It was hot out there. Um, I need to do Let's do one more. I think we can. Anything else I'm forgetting that we did or? This is cute. I can't think of anything else. Let me think. Decor All we did was decorate one table. I didn't really see a need to decorate yeah. every single thing like you would for the shower. Um, Amber might have some tips. She was the, she might have a good idea to share with everybody. How is Kilroy 24 24's mom? Doing? She's doing well. She's banged up. Um, Y'all, it's a miracle. She's a miracle. She flipped her car, like flipped her car. She's had this Lexus as long as I've known her. It's been her car, right? So Vince is on Facebook the other day. And he's like, oh my goodness, Janine flipped her car. And I'm like, what? And he said, look, it was bad. She, her face looks bruised real bad. She's got whiplash and she's got, she's mostly banged up, which That's is scary. such a miracle. It's a miracle. Here's what she said happened. Not the accident. I don't know how the accident happened. She said after it happened and the first responders got there, they couldn't get her out of the car because of the way it was. And it was leaking fluid, but they didn't know what the fluid was. And they panicked. And they're like, we got to get her out of here. And they didn't panic, but they knew they had to do something quick. So they had to flip her one more time. So they flipped it back over. And she said when they did, you know, it was just like flipping again, right? But they got her out. And they were, I want to say her nieces, her niece and nephew were with her or her nieces. Gosh. They were with her. But everyone is, listen, it is That's a awesome. miracle, like flat miracle. I talked to her the other day. I was like, Janine, you are a miracle. She said, you just, I'm telling you, she said, we are blessed. So, she's doing well. I mean, she's banged up and bruised up. She said, now her car, like I said, she's had a long time. She said none of her airbags deployed. Isn't that something? That's crazy. So, anyway, but she's doing really well. And thank y'all for your prayers. And I know that they don't have their comments on, but that's not their fault. That's a YouTube setting. Because um, Jet is um, well under age, they can't have their comments. So, sometimes they can. You might notice, what, like, when Wayne does the, Wayne, when Dwayne, I don't get in trouble. When Dwayne is in the video and it's only him, they can have comments because it's an adult. But when it's a child, they turn the comments off. So, thank y'all for that. This is kind of cool. Very simple. Look at that. That is cute. I'm going to do that. this. I'm going to do this simple little dude. So, thank y'all for um, thinking about her. It was, it was really scary. I know, I can't imagine how she felt. But even just us seeing the pictures, we're like, oh, my goodness. But she's a sweet girl. Y'all sometimes can hear her in the videos. And y'all think I have a country accent. I love her accent. I love a good old country accent. Well, I got one. My favorite is a mountain accent. Like y'all have not ever met. You've never met her. But Rhonda Moorheim. Rhonda Moorheim. I think it's Heim. I always say it wrong. She um, did a lot of admin work for us for a long time. She still watches the videos. She still comments and stuff. Um, she has the best mountain accent. She's from ten from the Tennessee mountains, and I love to talk to her with her accent. So cute, love it. When I was little, Mama's best friend lived. Mama's from Indiana, and we would go up there, and her best friend was like, "Just make her talk." <laughs> make you talk? Yeah, make me talk. That's cute. Which I was little, and you know, when when they're even smaller, it's even better. Yeah. Like Noah. Yes. Tell them how it says Alabama. Alabama? <laughs> it was, when we went to Texas, it was it was really, really country. <laughs> He's so Alabama? funny. Alabama? He is the cutest. Y'all, he comes in every day, and his grandparents get him an icy almost every day before he comes yeah. in. And every time he comes in, he knows it's going to happen, too. He walks by Vince on purpose. He does this. He'll go by Vince, and Vince will go, where's mine? And he just kind of grins because he knows there ain't one for Vince. He never brings never Vince an icy. Mama. Never brings Mama one either. So, all right, I'm going to stop there. I've made 10, 11 cards. Yep. I might have made more than that. Let me see what we made. All right, so I added these three from just some white card bases I had. So, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards. All right, I'll show you what's left. So, I'm going to bring all the little pieces over that are still usable pieces and show you what is available. What is this? 
Oh, so much. Good luck. All these little pieces, probably not this piece, it's too tiny. And this is just a piece that needs to be cut off. There's another flower. So there's all those little pieces that are usable. These are little pieces that I cut away from other stuff that I totally would use. And then let me show you your papers that are left. So you have this sheet of cut aparts here. Don't forget your little strips. And then I have one full sheet because I cut some up for the for the other three I did. And that's how much you have left. And let me show you front and back because you have this beautiful red floral, which I think is so cute. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah. So that's a lot of stuff to have left over, don't y'all think? Yep. I think it is. Um, I'm going to put this back in the package right now because I have a mess, mess, mess. If you just make the kits, there are the cards with the directions from the kit, you get eight cards. Yep. But you could easily make, I no doubt, 15. No doubt. I mean, probably 20 if you went, if you stretched it. And if you added stamp sets, easily 20. If you added some of your own stamps and stuff. Um, Will we be getting more of Mr. Jim's pendants? I don't know. I have not. He, he and I, because of this quarantine, you know, Mr. Jim is in his 80s, and we try to keep him safe. And... I'm going to be working with him as soon as I can on getting him a website. Um, and we're hoping to be able to build his website so he can do the work and then you guys can buy directly from him. So that's the hope. And I've been thinking about how I'm going to do that long distance because it's so hard. They're very, very, very intelligent. But technology is above a lot of people's head, not, not just them. So it's a little hard to do the long distance kind of thing. But I'm going to try to see if I can figure out how to like just kind of do it for them and then show them how to maintain it. Yeah. See if that would work. But um, that's what we're working on. Unless he just wants us to do it again. I mean, I don't know. I hate to do that because I know Mr. Jim. And at some point he's going to be like, you can't keep doing this for free. And that's just how he is. He's going to be like, no. He'll say, if you're not going to charge me. You know, because he even tried to do that last time a little bit. But I kind of fought him off. <laughs> but he is the sweetest man. and so They're both the sweetest thing in the world. So, um, anyway, be on the watch out for hopefully us getting him a website up. That's what we're hoping to happen. All right. I'm putting this stuff back in. Wow. Brilliant. And are having a crafter after show. Do you have that link already? I just put it in. She's so good. Why don't I try to, why don't I do what I say and like what I teach people how to do? Yep. <laughs> It does make life easier. Brittany wants to know if you can do a run through of what you made. I'll show them. Please. Right. She said please. <laughs> you didn't convey that, obviously. I did not give the please. Oh, you I'm might want to put that in there. All right. We'll lay them out and then we'll go to the crafter after show. All right. Make a wish in a five by five. I made this as a bonus. This didn't come with the kit. I made that one. Bonus not with the kit. Bonus not with the kit. Another five by five. Um, these, the rest of these are all from the kit. Aren't they cute as they can be? Just cutie cutie. I love the color. I still love the color. The color is good on camera too. All right. Debbie said we're awesome. Oh, thank you. We did a long show today. So we're, we won't have a very long crafter after, after show. We don't have a whole lot to go through anyway. But we do have some back in stock stuff I want to show y'all. And answer any questions. That you guys may have. So I'm gonna sign this one out and then we'll sign right back into the crafter after show. So see you in just a few minutes. All right, guys, here's the issue. <laughs> it's not letting me close out, so I'm gonna close this out. I will set it to private until it um till it does what it needs to do, and then I'll make it live again. <laughs> 